Greetings, Chris Fiola here with the March 14th edition of the Perfecting Equilibrium vlog. Uh, this is the one, actually it was supposed to run last week, but I was more excited about uh, uh, machine performance. I mean, part of the problem with putting up with me is my brain tends to go down rabbit holes and uh, journeying with me means trips down the rabbit holes with me. So here's the one that we we're supposed to do last week, where we look at the final version of the marketing materials that we've been building for the last several weeks using the AI tools in Photoshop. Now, one of the interesting things here, if you look down on the right, is we've ended up with a ton of layers uh, building it this way, but I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. I've done two things here uh, before uh, going on the air. The one is I've added uh, Fiola Factory. Come on. I've added Fiola Factory here on the nameplate of the camera. And the other, much more obviously, is I've added a big Fiola Factory on the bottom. So that is the uh, um, large square. This is 11,000 pixels by 11,000 pixels. But what you can see here is that by building it this way, we've uh, enabled ourselves to be able to build uh, several versions of this. So let's save a copy of this as a JPEG. I understand why Adobe puts the word copy in all the time, but it's still annoying you have to take out all the time. All right. This is actually the full version. It also takes a while. You notice I've also, uh, I, oh, actually, I don't know if you can see because I'm showing you a specific window. I have shut off every other thing that's running to try to give it some uh, better performance here until I can get a minute to rebuild this machine, which I am busy looking at uh, some of those great Micro Center bundle deals on a new CPU and a, a new... Uh, a new uh, motherboard and a new SSD and power this thing and a lot, lot more RAM. I think I'm going to jump all the way from 16 gigs to 64. Okay, uh, that said, let's get back to this. What I'm going to do here is now create a horizontal version of this. I'm going to pull this up here. And I'm going to crop this way down. I'm going to pull up from the bottom corner here so I can kind of see uh, new. I'm going to go a little lower here to make sure we get the whole bottom of the Y here. That's why I'm pulling up from the bottom here. So let's see. That's fairly two to one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a little different having the uh, dead space on the name on the bottom, but again, I want to I want to uh, have a variety of things here and things that are striking. So let us uh, save that and again do a JPEG. Yeah, like I said, this is. Once you start adding all these layers here, uh, these, I should say, these AI layers, it gets big. And let us do one more now. I'm going to do a uh, square cutaway here. I'll let us deselect that and then from here let's see I'm trying to get this reasonably square here
Let's try that. Yeah, I try to leave a little, little air out here on the right, so let's... And uh, there we go. And notice that even though we've cropped this way down, and then we can also uh, really cut this down size-wise, we still have some room up here to put Fiola Factory in if we want, and we have Fiola Factory on the camera. So I think there's some interesting possibilities with this. All in all, I'm fairly pleased with the way this has all worked out. So we're at the six minute mark and I don't want to take up too much of your time. I hope you've enjoyed this journey the last few weeks and are having a great week. Fiola out!